Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to manage your bandwidth using Q3. This type of configuration is very useful if you are running a hotspot. So before you um, follow this tutorial, the first thing that you need to do is to disable fast track. And you can look back at tutorial 49. And in that tutorial, I, um, I showed how to remove it so you can look back at that tutorial um, I'm going to go to the firewall and address list and I'm going to create an, an address list uh, that is assigned to my hotspot so I'm going to go to my DHCP server and I have two networks and the network that I have for hotspot is the 192.168.6.0 network so that is my hotspot network one of the previous tutorial um, I showed how to configure hotspot and so you can watch back, watch back that tutorial if you don't know how to I'm going to create an address list I'm going to call this hotspot and the IP address which is the 192.168.6.0 slash 24 so that's my hotspot network okay now I'm going to go to Mongo and I'm going to create some Mongo rules so I'm going to create the first rule that I'm going to create is I'm going to create a forward rule and the in the interface will be the one and the destination address is going to be the hotspot and action I'm going to mark this connection I'm going to call this download connection and I'm just going to put a comment on it alright so now I'm going to mark the pockets uh, that are flowing through that connection so I'm going to create another forward what I'm going to do next is to based on the connection marking which is the download connection I'm going to mark those packets as download packets so I'm just going to shorten I'm just shortening the wording you can type you can type out the full wording if you want or you can use any 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 packet marking that you want and I'm going to uncheck this so I'm not going to do any pass through okay next I'm going to do one for upload and in this for the, in this rule I'm going to use a pre-routing for upload and uh, the in interface will be the bridge and I have a bridge for my hotspot and so it depends on what, what which one of the bridge your hotspot interface is in you, you would select that so I'm going to use my hotspot bridge and the source address because it is upload I'm using source address and the action will be mark the connection and that will be upload con okay okay and now I'm going to mark the pockets from that connection so for that connection mark I'm going to select the upload connection and I'm going to choose to mark those pockets that is going through that connection and I'm going to call this up.pk for upload packet and I'm going to mark those alright so I've marked so I've created a connection for for download traffic and then I marked those packets I created one for upload a connection for upload and I mark those pockets now I'm going to go over to the queues and I'm just going to create some queues based on these marking 
So I'm going to go over to Q3 and I'm going to create the first queue I'm going to create. I'm going to create a queue um, that is, I want to call it all bandwidth. And this queue is going to be the queue um, that that all the other queues are associated with. So the max limit for this queue would be your maximum bandwidth. That that will include your the total download and the total upload. So I'm going to for this um, I'm going to just select say 10 megabits. Okay. And then now I'm going to go over to the queue type and the default PC the PC queue um, download default. I'm going to just make a copy of this queue type and I'm going to create mine and I'm going to set a rate that I want to assign to each user. So say download and I want to give each user say 2 megabits. So I will set this rate to be 2M for download. Okay. And I'm going to make a copy of the upload, the PCQ upload default. And say upload for each user is say um, two six k. I just put this here, just um, like when you are using the queues, you know what what the value of the queue is. So I just usually append like the speed to it. So I'm going to use two six k. Okay. All right. So we created two um, queue types one for download and one for upload so now we are going to use them and so we're going to add and we're going to call this download so this will be the queue for downloads and say for downloads we want a maximum so our maximum bandwidth for download is say um, nine megabits that should be in max limit nine megabits and one more thing i'm supposed to change the parent now so the parent is going to be the all bandwidth because all that is the main that is a, the main um queue for all the traffic that is flowing through the router and I'm going to call this one download, upload. And this will also be associated with all bandwidth. And I'm going to give this one a maximum of one megabit. All right, so I've created upload and download. Now I'm going to now create, um, assign the marking to, to these two queues for upload and download. So all I need to do is to just go back to the the queue and for the marking now we we had a marking download packet so we're gonna select download and the queue type we're gonna change the queue type now to the download that we had selected the PC queue download the two megabits and what this will do now is all the users will be assigned two megabits download in respect of how many persons are connected they will get their two megabits unless the amount of traffic that is on the network is greater than um, nine megabits which is which is a maximum for the queue then what it will do is divide the, tr the traffic um, among all the users and for the upload i'm going to choose the upload pocket marking i'm going to change the queue to the queue that we had created which is a PCQ upload and this is 256k for each user and I'm going to OK this so this is our queue and 
So now the total bandwidth for both queues will add up to the to to the total bandwidth available. So if you have a 10 megabit connection, you need to design your queues that the total bandwidth that is utilized by your queue is not more than what the total bandwidth that is available so your queues can be managed much better this is how the queue looks when one person is um, or one user is downloading and uh, you realize that the maximum download is not passing two, 2 megabits uh, based on the limit that was set so for, for, for just one user it will be 2 megabits so if it was two users it the maximum utilization will be 4 megabits and so forth until it has reached the maximum bandwidth of 9 megabits at that point the the, the amount of bandwidth that is available would be divided um, among all the users so this is the the first tutorial on using Q3 to manage your bandwidth and this will split your bandwidth um, across all the users equally um, based on based on the the limit that you have assigned here if you didn't put a limit what it will do it will automatically divide the traffic based on the number of of clients that are on the network at a given time but with this you are putting a hard hard limit on the client that means this client the cli all the clients none of the clients will be able to download um, any faster than two megabits per second using this method so that's it for this tutorial I'm going to do more tutorials on on Q3 so if you haven't subscribed please remember to subscribe so you can be notified when um, new tutorials are out and remember to click the notification bell to get that notification and if you like this video please remember to give me a thumbs up and that's it for this tutorial and thanks for watching